the fabric of America has changed, bringing mixed feelings on all sides. So a double memoir made sense for the Chopra brothers. Doubleness remains true for us 40 years on, piling up richness and loss, consternation and clarity. I uh, did not want to be a doctor initially. I was about 14 and I got on my birthday a gift of uh, three books. The protagonists in all these three books were doctors, so my father played a subtle trick on me. So I was 12 years of age, and I think I'm reading Reader's Digest, and then I fall asleep, I wake up, and I'm blind, I can't see. Very scary experience. So I nudged Deepak, and I, he said, what's the matter? And I said, Deepak, I can't see, I'm blind. He started crying and saying, I have one brother and he's turned blind. And then our uncle took me to the military hospital. Finally, they tracked our father, who was 300 miles away on a field trip. Then he asked another question, did he get a tetanus shot? And he said, well, he's having a very rare idiosyncratic reaction to the anti-tetanus serum. Start an intravenous and give him massive doses of corticosteroids. So that was done and about four, six hours later, I could see gray and then clear and my vision returned. It was at that time that it crystallized for me that I wanted to be a physician like my father. So all science is based on me the subject and the universe the object. Whilst that science has been very successful, it's also responsible for climate change and global warming. We don't see ourselves as expressions of nature. We see ourselves as conquerors of nature. Switch the me into we, and that we includes the uh, the life on earth, the ecosystem. That's why I've been so involved in saying, you know, it's not enough to treat the body or the mind. You have to get in touch with the spirit where the environment and the organism, the genes and the epigenes, nature and nurture are artificial distinctions created by a divided mind. The best definition I can think of, of spirituality, is self-awareness, period. If you can be aware of your own self, you'll be aware of the divine. There's a wonderful Greek proverb. It says that people are known by the heroes they crown. And growing up in India, our heroes were mythical figures. And we imbibe many of those principles and core values that to this day, if you have a dilemma and you ask yourself, should I do this? Do I want to do this? Am I meant to do this? And so often when you ask that third question, am I meant to do this, that the answer comes. And a lot of it is based on those stories we heard.